Happy New Year, everyone. May Almighty God continue to lead you, guide you, protect you in Jesus' name. Amen. This is 2023. The Lord has brought us in and he continued to bless us. The New Year is one of my favorite seasons of the year. It is a time for fresh starts and a new beginnings, a time to let go of what is behind you and press into hope for what lies ahead. Hallelujah. I just want to do a quick and a short video. I'm going to give you some Bible verses of the year so that whenever anything is somehow in your life, please go through the Word of God. Isaiah 43, 18 and 19. Isaiah 43, verses 18 and 19. Forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. See, I'm doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I'm making a way in the wilderness and streams in the waterland. Yes, whatever you are going through. Instead of thinking, th th thinking so much, please go to the word of God. There is nothing God Almighty cannot do for us. He will take care of us in Jesus' name. Amen. Number two is Philippians chapter 3 verse 13 and 14. Brothers and sisters, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it. But one thing I do, forgetting what is behind and straining towards what is ahead, I press on towards the goal to win the prize for which Christ God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. Do what you know that will bring goodness, that will bring happiness for you in Jesus' name. The year 2023 is a day of, a year of joy. But one thing is believe in Jesus Christ. He will make everything anew for you. Number three is Proverbs chapter 4, verses 25 to 27. Let your eyes look directly forward, and your gaze be straight before you. Ponder the part of your feet, then all your ways will be sure. Do not swerve to the right or to the left. Turn your foot away from evil. S simple. Do not do evil. Do not do what will make you to fear you will not sleep at night. Please just be with the Lord. Go to God in prayer. As ye have started, just go to God in fasting. Fast as the Holy Spirit directs you. Hear from God. God talks. He will talk to you. Hallelujah. Amen. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 1. Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great cloud of witness, let us also lay aside every weight and sin which cling so closely, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. Hallelujah. A child of God, hear the word of the Lord. Set aside things that will make you annoyed. Set aside what has happened before. Please don't bring it to 2023. Forget it. Just go on with Christ. He will make a way for you in Jesus' name. Isaiah 41 verse 10. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Hallelujah. Amen. I told you before this video is a short one. You see what God is telling you? Do not fear. About school fees, do not fear. About house strength, please do not fear. Take everything to God in prayer. He will make a way for you. Listen, children of God, you are going to rejoice. Hallelujah. Rejoice and be happy because Almighty God has made everything for you. He has provided for you. He will continue to provide. Please don't say, what am I going to do? What are the children going to eat? 
Almighty God will provide for you and your household. May you remain blessed in Jesus' name. And I thank all of you that are still coming to Wisdom TV Nigeria. Thank you so, so much. May Almighty God continue to bless you, continue to guide you, continue to guide you and your family in Jesus' mighty name.